Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to design the nice abstract shapes that are in my uh, background at the moment. I've got a few messages asking how I designed it. It's fairly straightforward really, but uh, yeah, here's how you do it. So I've got my Cinema 4D open now, and uh, got my Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit Studio. Now if you don't have Grayscale Gorilla's Light Kit, as I said before, I advise you to purchase it, or just set up your own preferred light source, it's completely up to you. But um, yeah, so it sets up like this when you open it. So I'm just going to be deleting these. And uh, what I actually like to do to uh, design my abstract shapes is to start with a text layer. Now, some of you might be thinking, why doesn't he just use shapes? But personally, to me, text gives a nicer render. But as I said, completely up to you. Design it how you like. So I'm just going to type in um, ABS. Now, I've not done this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. If it doesn't turn out very well, I will be changing the text to what I usually use. Uh, that weird noise in the background is my cat. Feel free to ignore it. It's doing my head in. Listen to it. It's so annoying. Anyway, so I'm going to add an extrude nerves now to this text. Like that. And I'm going to make the depth about 50. So you get just a nice basic 3D text. And what I'm going to do then is on the text, I'm just going to change the font to something that when made abstract will look a lot nicer so I'm going to go with uh, where is it um, I can't pronounce the font because uh, it's just got some really weird long name Homo Arakan I'm guessing that's what it's called it's basically the Spider-Man and the Playstation 3's old font uh, and I'll just be using that now and that already gives quite a nice effect and as you can see when you render it out it's already got quite a nice light lighting on it already in fact actually I'm going to make that a bit deeper maybe put it up to about 80 yeah right, and then I'm just going to duplicate those and on the bottom extrude nerves making sure that your text is also selected by um, holding shift and clicking on the text is I'm just going to with the move tool just drag back this layer so you can see the outline here and then I'm going to add caps on the extrude nerves. I'm going to add a fillet cap which should render out like this. Alright so now that's done I'm going to go to my content browser which I've already got open and go to my prime materials and misc. Now under this again you've got the Denel candy, I'm going to be using that and I'm just going to change it to black and on the outer text and extrude nerves I'm just going to drag that on now when I render this out now it should look quite nice so you've got this nice black glossy text and the matte white on top I'm just going to duplicate this Denel candy and change the colour to white and drag that onto the top layer. Render that out now, see how that looks. So I think that looks really nice, got a really nice effect there. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the roughness and the speculars. Keep the reflection, get rid of the speculars. Uh, I'm going to turn down the reflection a bit. Change the fall off increase the intensity. Right. Just render that out one more time and see how it looks. Yeah, that's got a really nice effect. That's how I wanted it. So now you're going to be asking me, how does he make the abstract shapes? Well, what you need to do then is you need to select all of these layers here and right click and go down to group objects. So now you've got this null object, you want to go to your deformers and click on explosion. Not explosion effects, but explosion. And now you've got explosion, you just drag this until the little uh, down arrow comes up onto the null. Now what you can do then is you can just add strengths and uh, angles and speed and stuff like that. But to get the abstract shape, I increase the speed, uh, I decre increase and decrease the speed, I change the angle. Now it's the angle speed is the most, shall we say, important aspect to consider as it creates the kind of 
edges that you need to render out. Now on the speed, you can do what you like with this really, you can drag it up like that if you want bits coming out everywhere. See once it's been blown up if you like, you can't really tell it was text anymore so it creates this nice effect. Uh, on the end size I tend to increase them a bit and then change up the randomness. So now if I render this out, it should give a really nice abstract shape. I'll just let that render. I mean you can choose to do it with shape objects if you like but it's completely up to you. But personally I prefer to do it like this. So as you can see you get this really nice kind of abstract explosion but because it's text you get all these nice different shapes rather than just all different angles. So yeah, it gives a really nice kind of shatter effect and the reflections and the lighting looks absolutely superb. But yeah, see so like that really, it's just up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to change the explosion a bit actually. Maybe like that. Try that. See how that looks. But yeah, so that's basically it really from how to make the abstract shapes. All you need to do really is make text or any other object, add an explosion, make sure that your speed and your angles are all turned up, and your randomness. And then you normally get quite a nice abstract shape. And these this is exactly how I made the abstract shape in my current background. And uh yeah, fun experimenting with your abstract designs. My next tutorial will be on matte painting as it got over 100 likes on the current video. So I hope you guys like that. Actually I'm going to stop this render. I'm on the white layer, I'm going to add the matte back on. See how that renders out this time. I think it might render out with a bit of a nicer effect. Because obviously you don't want to overdo reflections too much because if you're rendering out a shape that's got that's fragmented everywhere and you've got reflections on it, all you're going to get is reflections of all the different angles that you've cut out. So, it's not worth having all those reflections really. Now, obviously the only downfall of having the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit, I'm sure all of you know, is the render times. It takes a long time to render still images, let alone videos, so if you're going to be using Grayscale Gorilla's Light Kit, make sure it's the only thing you're doing else your render times are going to be really long obviously they're a bit longer now as I'm using my screen recorder which takes up quite a lot of my memory for some reason yeah so as you can see by the render so far on the screen you get a really nice abstract shape if you like I will do a grayscale gorilla light kit tutorial or maybe some more abstract shapes with using the bend tools and the twist tools Comment in the section below if you'd like to see that tutorial up. Because don't forget, these are all for you, they aren't for my own purposes. All these tutorials are for you, so I need to know what you guys want. Well, thank you for watching the tutorial. I'll catch you guys later.